Hello guys, welcome to Great Famine Reaction. My name is Chris. My name is Lucy. If you're new to this channel, welcome. You're welcome. We hope you'll have an amazing time here with us. Today, because we're going to be watching Christmas TV news bloopers. Yes, I think we should just jump straight right into it, shall we? Let's do it. Let's do it. And I'm Santa Claus. I'll be at International Plaza for you to come see me. I can see you. Good day, Tampa Bay. <laughs> okay. From Fox Television, this is Good Day Tampa Bay. Strange things going on to start this hour of Good Day, but welcome everyone to Good Day Tampa Bay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and we're going to do even more here now that Thanksgiving is over. They actually told me they would stand by to light the tree, and there it is. From all of us at KY3, have a happy Christmas and a Merry New Year. <laughs> In Christiansburg. Yes, I bet you are, Eamon. I have seen you. <laughs> I did that. Wow, okay, well. And already toy manufacturers are pushing their products for all these Oh, holidays. Furbies. People tell you about the latest version of last year's hottest toy. The Mario Lemieux doll coming out. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Remember the girls used to have Have a happy holiday. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> And uh, people come here from all over the world, and just to give you a sign of that, let you see where they came from, we'll let you meet some of them to the strains of the Metropolitan Singers. Uh, hold on, don't go to it. Simon, I can't leave you out. Who would you like to find under the mistletoe this Christmas? You, baby. Don't <laughs> 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 <You> say that. Smart. Why do you do red? Why do you red? Good. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> She's so uncomfortable right now. The holidays are a special time for families. Where's Rossi look like on the train? Create memories yeah, yeah. and look back on old ones. But for homeless families, those special memories are hard to think about when every day is a fight for survival. And you can't get the ball on the tree. <laughs> <laughs> when you can't get ball to it Christmas. It is very painful. <laughs> are you mailing a Christmas gift? No. Say yes to any help for camera. I'm Jewish, I celebrate Hanukkah. Are uh, you mailing Hanukkah gift? Yeah, because it's over. Okay, Hanukkah is <laughs> over. So, anyhow, you get the idea. You can oh mail things uh, around the clock here. And we'll be back again later in the show to give you more useful tips to mail your Christmas or Hanukkah gifts out. Back to you. Uh -oh. Oh my God. I don't think he's making any friends out there at the post office. <laughs> She's not happy. <laughs> she was like, what a douchebag. Yeah. All, all the way to the 24th. And then it's off delivering presents. Same. All right. All right. Uh, Thanks, can I Santa. get a hug goodbye? <laughs> Look at that. It's going to be all Thank worked you. out. Thank you. I know. <laughs> I know. All right. Did you tell him what you wanted? <laughs> a new photographer? Really? Yeah. What else do you need here, Jason? Well, good morning, Barbara. Good morning, Carlos. This is an incredible thing. I'm in Mickey's ride. Mickey Mouse's ride with Mickey. This is his Bantam. And I'm going to try and start this up here. Can you hear me here? All right, now we're going to put it in gear, right, Nick? And as we attempt to put it in gear, my foot's on the brake. Oh, there we go. There we go. Something happens. It's like, can you try? Oh, this is kind of cool. Oh, yes. This will work. We're going to go ahead and get to the forecast now. Yes. So we're in the 20s and 30s out there across the area. You want to point at some stuff for me there, Santa? You look like uh, We're in the 20s and 30s out there across the area right now. We're expecting wind later today. <laughs> For the forecast as we go into the night tonight and into tomorrow. <laughs> a little bit of cloud cover out there right now. Precept possible for our northern areas as we get into that seven-day forecast, though. Most of the precept will be well to the north. Gusty winds tonight into tomorrow morning, and then we start to quiet down as we head through the rest of that seven-day forecast. Great job, Santa. We appreciate you being here. <laughs> Ik heb het niet gezegd, ik Goedenavond, kijkers. Leven en laten leven. 107. You may think it's too early to start stringing Christmas lights outside of your home, but one crooks man says he's already way behind on his holiday decorating. 
As Keloland's Kelly Grant explains in tonight's Eye on Keloland, lighting her home up like a runway and raising money for a great cause has him rushing to bring holiday cheer to the area. What's funny about that? <laughs> Oh, Crooks cheer. Christmas. All right, I apologize for that. That exactly. was a wrong. Oh, Christmas cheer. Yeah. And it was like, okay. And now I get it. Yeah. I thought it was a new thing. All right, Lisa, and she says you have tights on. From Route 66, the MAD, which stands for Mobile Adventure Design Scooter. Hmm. They are electric. They go up to 25 miles an hour. They are amazing. Oh, boy. And we <laughs> are out of here. <laughs> <laughs> no. I would like one. Am I okay? Just stay. We'll take care of you. Marcellus, thank you. If you have small children, you're no stranger to the brats. And ironically, you actually got one for Christmas. So it worked out. <laughs> yes, I did. Perfectly here. This is an um, interesting looking doll. Kind of dressed a little, a little trashy there. Let's go ahead and push <laughs> the play button. What? She's See what's trash. going on. She's going to start singing. Oh, now the only problem is how do we shut it off eventually? You take a hammer. That's usually what you do with most of them. Uh, where's the volume here? Oh, oh. oh no, no. <laughs> she's down. She's down. She's drunk. He's holding her hair. He doesn't know what to do with that thing. You don't care about it. Oh, that was so cute. I had one of those as a kid. Ho, 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 ho. Times. Ah. Even Uncle Stu would do it. Oh my gosh. 
Well, we blew a fuse a little bit earlier, but the uh, <laughs> the spirit lives out here at Cove Lake State Park. That could keep going at him like what I'm doing. <laughs> regardless Sam. tonight. Sam. We're going to get it lit regardless, and if, if I have to stand here all night. But it's going to be a lot of fun, I can assure you. We'll be back to, che we'll be back to check in on you, oh, Sam. Uh, maybe, it's, maybe it's April 1st. Right. Maybe. maybe. It is. Uh, Look, there it is. There it is. <laughs> 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 a little bit harder. Christmas has begun, and we'll talk to you a little bit later. Okay, Sam. Thank you. The child asked for a particular toy that, no matter what the toy, I do not promise you know what they're going to get. Uh, but I do indicate that they're going to get some surprises, and kids like surprises, so that usually encourages them. Give Santa some of the burden. You know, if the kid says, Santa, I want a Maserati, let Santa be the one to say, no, you get a Yugo, and be happy about it. <laughs> happy, stop, glad tidings. Stop, stop, stop trying to convince your kids that Santa is Santa. That's my, that my take is, forget about it. That's why they have these high expectations. They know you can't afford it. They're going to ask some man in a red suit. There is no Santa. No, but if a little yeah. kid will, will think, let well, the parents Santa get will the get credit me whatever I want. As soon as they can talk, there's no Santa. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm no. opposite. No. 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 should know I need to get Why should this fat man in red suit take all the credit for the shit we buy? Next week, you come to the office. I'll show you Polar Express. You gotta believe. Oh, oh, I love that okay, movie. Okay. Let's get to Lou Canellis uh, making his sports list and checking it twice. Robin, don't ruin it for me. I'm asking Santa for a Maserati. <laughs> he's jolly, he's big, he's even got the white hair and beard. And while he often plays Santa Claus, he wasn't when he visited Walt Disney World last week. I had a shirt that had, um, it would be like a collage, and it had Santa's faces and had sayings from the night before Christmas. Disney had informed me that I must inform anybody who came up to me that I am not who you think I am. I am on vacation and please leave me alone. Disney says <laughs> Tolbert to change because guests aren't allowed to wear costumes. Tolbert says he wasn't wearing a costume and he wasn't trying to attract attention. All the people that I ever talked to had photographs with or autographed approached me. I never approached anyone. Look at all of these people out here on the John Hunt Plaza outside the Morris. Uh, things that getting underway. Suck. We're going to hear some kids' choirs sing. We're going to see some other head. kids perform. Yeah. And then I'm told around 6 o'clock, Santa will come up on a fire truck. Then he and Mayor Pete Buttigieg are going to head down to the College Football Hall of Fame. And uh, while they're there, they are going to light the uh, light the Christmas tree there on fire. So or on fire. On fire. <laughs> Cindy, Rick, you gotta help me out here. We're, my photographer's go. making me walk and talk, and clearly I'm not doing a very good job at that. There's the mayor. There's Mayor. Oh, Kelly. <laughs> oh, Kelly. <laughs> you can see Mayor Pete Buttigieg uh, addressing the the crowd here. I just heard him say Santa, Santa's gonna be here. <laughs> that is wrong. It's, it's, I think it's Friday. Holy moly. <laughs> oh, Kelly. It's not just tonight though either, Kelly, is it? There's still a lot to do this weekend. <laughs> That's right, there is. Uh, you know, Santa will be here also tomorrow. You can have tea with Santa Claus. You can uh, have lunch with Santa Claus. Um, so much to do. There are crafts. If you want to come out and have your picture taken with him tonight, you can do that. All right. Well, I don't know that Santa's going to know that you were good this year. <laughs> we're watching I'm a mess. You. Okay. <laughs> Back to you. <laughs> Frank Poor is his name, and he's from Rome, New York. I... I like homemade stuff, and Frank gives us a little homemade stuff. Music. Go to it, Frank. <laughs> oh, have a happy time at Christmas. <laughs> the dog doesn't like it either. <laughs> the love and joy that you can't even play. <laughs> The dog hated. <laughs> She's joining in. She's singing. Change of perspective. No, I'll get my own set. <laughs> That's my 
one of those tunes that goes on and on and on. Everyone's like... And, and it doesn't matter what it clicks on because it's an auto one. Thank you very much, Frank. Thank you for trying, Oops, buddy. The song was composed especially for us. Frank wrote it. It's a Christmas carol especially for us. Throughout the week, we've been sharing our holiday <laughs> treats. Let's see on tap this morning. Oh, yeah, it's not supposed to look like that. There's a whole story yeah. here. So what is this? Thor, okay, so is... this, it's like I didn't want to bake it. I've been busy, so I didn't want to make anything, but my oh. family was all freaking out. Okay, this is what I wanted to do. It this like is puke. plan A. This is my favorite Christmas thing. Well, then, uh, oh, oh, here's the Safeway wrapper. Oh, thank you. It's Christmas cake. Fruit cake, yeah. Okay. From but Safeway. You want to make some of that. I love that. So this is so boss. serious. Well, I made it and then Safeway packaged it for me. Right. Okay. So that's really my favorite. Okay, so that's what you want to do. But What's my family's all freaking that? out because you need to make something. Everybody's making something. <laughs> so they all got together and they sent me this recipe and I'm gonna make you guys try it. So this is already <laughs> choked in. Face. Okay, so yeah, you think like, that's what the okay, fuck is right? This? Is that <laughs> <really> <laughs> <laughs> you don't want it. I can do this. How does it smell? It's like vinegar or something. So like oh, I hate well, vinegar. Why anyway. are we being rude? We sh we have no, no, it didn't work out. I'm telling you right work. now, Sorry. this did not work out. Um, Can you so, imagine? Real? Uh, think it's artichoke. Too much. Too much. <laughs> oh my god, his face. Um, it took the whole thing in. Uh, is it edible? <laughs> At first, I'm like, well, it's not that bad, but the vinegar. But there's no vinegar in there. So here's what happens. <laughs> That's like all that I can taste is vinegar. I feel kind of sick even watching this. I can just imagine. That's so me. I'd wreck. I wouldn't care if I was on TV. I'd be like, okay. <laughs> so, like it's got. I'm not trying to be. But you're on TV. <laughs> I agree yeah. with you. But that wasn't a real wretch. <laughs> Ew. It's already choked it, but something went terribly wrong. Okay, so first of all. Why doing that. <laughs> Why would you let them eat it then? I <laughs> Do you think something is off? Like, do you think maybe the artichokes are off? Do. Well, okay, I didn't have a lemon, so I no. just cut up an orange this is and put that in there. And then I didn't know what spices to put in, so I put <laughs> celery, salt, and oregano in it. See, this is where and the did... little bits of chemistry play in. Lastly, things didn't combine properly. So, how are you enjoying it, Amber? His brain took out his, like, fuck <laughs> fucking life. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Tonight begins the Jewish holiday of Hanukkah, the festival of lights. And standing by at his home, live with us tonight, is Rabbi Bradley Bleefeld of the Baltimore Hebrew Congregation with his family. And now they will light the first light of Hanukkah. Praised are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has kept us in life, sustained us, and permitted us to reach this joyous occasion. Amen. Rabbi Bleefeld, uh, this is Richard Scher. And uh, we'd like you to explain the significance of Hanukkah, if you would. This begins our <laughs> eight-night festival of religious freedom. We commemorate the time over 2,000 years ago when a small group of Jews fought for <laughs> their religious yeah. freedom against the Assyrians. Like, uh, and indeed has a special meaning this year because we of the Jewish community share in the concern <laughs> for the hostages being held in Iran for they too are suffering yes, under the a contemporary here. form of religious tyranny. <laughs> May all of us here wish you uh, and all of your family a very happy holiday. Thank you and to all in the community. And you went to the Thank prize. Thank you very much. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> he can do it. Cut off the sound. Yeah. <laughs> oh and you can hear God. who's naughty here too? The da. Yeah, she's going crazy. It's because I'm laughing. She's like, oh, she wants to be in on it. She's like, there's something funny going on here. Even the camera operator's dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. I love it. And when you start, that's it. You can't stop. Yeah. That is it. They all died. They couldn't do it. They couldn't handle it. Yeah. I love the fact that they just keep filming them. <laughs> it's like, just quit. They, they want this is what happened to me on live TV. Do you remember I told you? Mm. I made a mistake. They kept the camera on me for ages. Mm. I mean, come on. 
Okay, it's done because yeah. uh, the, you, then we're just gonna watch these for uh, mm. 40 more seconds that I want to do that. No, it's done because it's gonna continue like yeah. that, right? Yeah, okay, we start from here because I don't want to watch them forever. No. Uh, why are you gonna talk about this? Yeah, you see, just that. Yeah, yeah. they're done. They're done. Well, anyway, there good. we have it for Christmas TV news. Merry bloggers. Christmas. Happy Christmas and Merry New Year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's oh I just gotta say one thing though. Hang on a minute. And Wait. Just one sec, one sec, one sec. Now, can I say here, please? <laughs> <laughs> Do you see a resemblance? Honestly, when he's grumpy, I mean, I look. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, ah, ah. We there's love, we love the Grinch. There's no chocolate in it. So it's cute. done. Um, yeah, and as you can see, Chris. Okay, this is the second advent calendar that I have bought. Hit no, no, he bought the first one. Okay, he ate basically all of the chocolates in one go. So the next day, I was feeling really nice and cheery, like all in my Christmas spirit, whatever. And I was like, oh, Chris can't miss out on having a calendar. We'll <laughs> give him a second chance. But I thought I'd give him a little uh, Grinch. Uh, calendar, you know, because he was very grumpy that day as well. And then I realized, oh, oh, look, they actually look a little alike, don't you think? But as you can see, he has failed miserably because every single one of these is empty. Let's have a look. Number 15, 16, we're not even in December yet. What can I say? So here we go. There you go. I just had to say that. Yeah, every, every single one is done. You see how yeah, every single one. I'm not, I'm, but I like the fact you hung on to your calendar. Yeah, well, uh, to pretend, you see? Yeah, look. I mean, he is rather cute, I have to admit. Yeah, I am cute. Like you, 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 I'm so you, cute. Grinch, you, Grinch. Anyway, well, there you go. Yeah, thank you for bringing it up again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it, guys. Yeah. Uh, uh, Christmas TV news bloopers. Bloopers. Uh, yeah, I, I did find the animal one a lot funnier though. Yeah. I got. I think I gotta find some more. Uh, more things with animals yeah. because animals they are. are the they best. are more funny. Yeah, so, uh, they are funny. They are more funny than humans. They're There's just characters. something about them. Yeah. yeah. They're unpredictable. As you can hear our one going absolutely crazy in the background. She's always going crazy. She never shuts up. Yeah, she's That's thing. <laughs> the moment you want her to shut up, she never shuts up. At the moment you you you're just like, okay, um now you can do what you want. She goes to sleep. Yeah. Mm. The moment we take her, no, sleep. Mm. You know? So it's really annoying. <laughs> it's really annoying. Uh, that, that's she's the point so I am the cringe. Cute and she has big floppy ears. And she just needs kisses. Sorry, she's so cute. Okay, sure, <laughs> sure. If that makes you happy, <laughs> so be it. I'm gonna end this video now. Okay. I don't want it anymore. <laughs> Let me hear what you guys think. Comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Ping. So you can always stay tuned when we go live or do a premiere. Until next time, peace <laughs> out. <Bye. laughs>